In a story you will only see right here, after more than 75 years, the remains of a Missouri veteran who died during the Pearl Harbor attack will now return home. His family recently learned about the remains being identified, and as 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains, they now hope to honor the veteran with a special ceremony. I know that when he turned 20, he wanted to join the Navy. Cindy Cairns never met Harold Head and only recently learned about his life. He joined July 26th in 1940. And when he left and he was on the U.S. of Oklahoma. A 20 year old who grew up around the Cleed, Missouri, who in 1941 tragically died in the Pearl Harbor attacks. The family just had to live with the fact that he was gone and no one really talked about it. His remains never identified and his personal story lost over time until a surprise call Cindy recently received. She said, well, they found, they've identified his remains from Pearl Harbor and they're going to bring them back to Laclede. An effort by military officers to identify unknown World War II remains in Hawaii, leading to a DNA test with one of Cindy's nephews, a match unlocking part of her family history. I found out that my dad was his first cousin and then I was his second cousin. With Head's remains now identified, his family continues to plan for a very special funeral to be held next week, which may include a stop right here in Chillicothe. As Head's remains come back to Missouri, Cindy's family says the effort to honor him has led to them reaching out to distant relatives all across the country. This is going to be good for all the family, and there's going to be happiness there, not just sadness. A special way for them to honor a long-lost family member and a veteran who can return home decades after his death. It just means a lot to me that they care enough to finally get him to his final resting place after all these years and take him back home. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. Head's funeral procession will be held October 10th and will begin in Parkville before finishing at Laclede Cemetery. Federal records show more than 70,000 Americans still remain unaccounted for from World War II.